was communist, and they put me in a room about this size, two beds shammed together. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know why she thought that was a double room, but then the bathroom was, uh, I think it was just a hole in the ground. It was really primitive. And that was a little bit scary, because we got stopped by the police on the way up. And they uh, searched the taxi. I was treated like almost like a celebrity in, in some respects, because they hadn't seen many Americans. Yeah. But I was very satisfied with just the simplest thing, just sitting there, just being there was enough. But, you know, it, in, in 82, um, it was just me my, and God. But with Helen, it made a big difference. I could, I could see the family of God in that. I was really hoping to find the Lord by myself. But when I bumped into Helen and saw how disinterested her children were in, in the Lord, I, I offered to help her. And uh, so the son offered us a trip to Disneyland in place of Medjugorje. And uh, no, we wouldn't, she, she wouldn't stand for that at all. So we got there. She wasn't able to do anything but move her head a little bit. Yeah, and so the trip there was very difficult. Uh, getting her in the plane, out of the plane. And all of that I just chalked up as part of the experience of God relating to my wife and I. And uh, it was just amazing how well she received it. And all we could do is sit there in the sun by the statue. Yeah, But we had so many giggles, so much mm -hmm. laugh. It was such a beautiful place. It just you just relaxed the moment you you arrived. Yeah. Hey, can I start now? Yep. My story. Yep. But it was uh, October of '88. Helen, my wife, and I visited Medjugorje. We saw so many people praying, laughing, of every age. We quickly were caught up in this timeless wonder. We saw some extraordinary things. A man totally cured of an advanced stage of Parkinson's disease. Plus the sun acting so strangely. After this, we expected most anything. Sitting in front of a huge statue probably of St. Francis. We realized it, it moved from yesterday's position, plus a sweet odor. We asked the priest about this. He put his hands on the hands of the statue. The statue moved like a lazy boy. So we asked him about the, uh, the, uh, the aroma. He said, you're sitting in front of a cider mill. So we laughed at ourselves for thinking we had another miracle to chalk up. <laughs> Helen died 12 years later. I have this heavenly memory of her. Thanks for this opportunity. But when we got back, uh, we never stopped talking about Medjugorje. But it, it, Medjugorje was the matrix of, of this marriage. It was just something that, that's, that was uniquely ours and cemented the marriage. And then we went out on the street, on the sidewalk, and said the rosary out loud as people were passing by. Uh, and then I got into the pro-life effort, and her brother-in-law, would um, take me places and I would collect in front of churches for the pro-life. And that le that's been going on ever since. Um, and there's a big change now. When I first started this, um, and I'm in front of grocery stores now, and I'm talking 12, 14 hours in one place. 
people would uh, be absolutely very rude to me. And uh, now it's just the opposite. Very few people were rude, but almost 98% of them not only thanked me, but um, they, uh, <laughs> they, they, uh, <laughs> well, uh, uh, they, uh, I think my people want to know where I am. Yeah, I Prayer is, is our secret weapon, isn't it? Yes. I mean, it just does everything. Uh, I'm 72, and I was about 50 before I really turned to God in a serious fashion. Since I turned 50, everything is just is perfect. I can't touch anything that doesn't turn to gold. Mm -hmm. And I keep wondering, what am I doing? I live in a, a county nursing home, and they were about to take it over, this, this group that was probably organized crime. And everybody was crying in tears. I'm talking about the staff. Mm -hmm. And even the residents were scared what would happen. Mm -hmm. Well. They kept saying, if only a resident would do something. So I took them to court. And uh, eventually we won by a fluke. You know, I, I mean, things were happening, and I got a lot of press coverage, and people were giving me credit, but it was a fluke that, that won it. Um, other things, especially my rapport with my, uh, my people I live with. You know, we, there's about 300 of us, 350. And uh, I see Christ in every one of them, more so every day. I mean, this, the depth is, is just deepening every day. And, and I, um, you know, it's, it's a piece of cake. When I was in the religious life, I did extreme asceticism. And I didn't get it anywhere. Um, it, it, you know, in God's time and in his manner, you'll blossom. I was just impatient. I got, kept getting in front of him. <laughs> he is a little bit slow, you know. <laughs> he says, he Jim. He is a little bit slow, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, here I am, 72, and I'm enjoying uh, the best days of my life. It took us a long time to wait. Wow. Yeah.